Well, hi there, crafty ones. This is Pam, Pam Vinny. And um, I went to two estate sales um, last week or the week before. I don't know. The weeks are just kind of blending together. And I don't know why I haven't been to them before. I've gone to garage sales lots of times. But, um, yeah. So I went to two uh, estate sale halls. And let's see. Hmm, I thought I got more. Okay, well, anyways, this one, actually, this one was a different estate sale. So this one was, um, I found uh, kind of, I'm doing farmhouse journals. Actually, I am looking, I'm putting together 10 kits. And it's taken days and days and days. I didn't realize how uh, <clears throat> long that would take. But I'm working on them. And, um, you know, it'll have vintage sheets and papers and, you know, book pages. And so I'm doing 10. And I'm going to make one journal and show it as an example. And um, one of the 10. And the other one I'll sell. Uh, and the one that's going to be my example, I'm going to keep one to sell. And then I'll have eight kits that if anybody wants to buy them, once I have them together and put on Etsy, pen to paper by Pam, when I have them ready, I'll list them. Then you can um, go along with me and we can do the journal together. We can put it together with the supplies that I have. But anyway, so I was excited uh, when I went to this estate sale and I found like things like fertilizer you know, recede and uh, what is this 1928 bull record starting December 1928 tractor record bought tractor 1923. Anyway, it, the papers are really neat and just you know, a little bit of writing the calves that were born, the colors and uh, the cat or the bulls or whatever you call them. I did not grow up on a farm, although I just love all that. Uh, you know, I like the, you know, the sewing, the quilts. I used to make quilts and, you know, I used to can. And I just like that kind of life seems. I know it's very hard, but um, uh, just, you know, like that for journals making. This is like an old, like, rural route uh, in the area here in Michigan. Not city, so I couldn't find any of my ancestors, but um, very interesting. There's the rural free delivery carrier and the wagon that they delivered. Um, and uh, look at look at the ads. Painless dentistry. Huh, without we make a specialty of extracting teeth without pain or sleep. Interesting, right? And there's a postmaster. So, uh, very interesting. 1902. So I think I can uh, make copies and scan these for uh, some of the journals. Um, and some of these companies are still around, like Ferris. I think that this is Ferris Teas and Coffee. I think they they sell nuts and things. Maybe tea also. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, mother's bread look at that silk waist silk dresses very cool so love that um yeah it's just the rural routes like the farming and then i'll have somebody's last name the people that live there um and then i know it tells if they were farmers and how many acres they had somewhere here i saw farm Occupation farmer owns 15 acres. Very interesting. I just love this old stuff. So I got all this kind of farming type things. I won't, you know, go too much into it. Farm grain and seed cleaners. So look at that. So I could probably make copies of that and put in the, um, for the farm journals. The Cormac Deering double run feed grain drills. So there's a couple of these with cool illustrations. Um, a couple of these. The Cormac Deering Cream Separator. Cylinder Rake Hay Loader. Osborne Grain Binder. 
And look at this. I love the color of this. Thresh, thresher and Power Farming Supplies Sawmill Accessories. Isn't that a beautiful illustration? Uh, I don't know the year on this, if I can make scan these or not. I mean, if you're going to use them for your own self, the people who buy the kits, uh, you can use a scan, but you just can't sell them, I believe. That's how that works. Farm Equipment. John Deere Handbook and Care and Operation. So, uh, lots of these. Carefree Days in West Michigan. It has, like, you know, things to do. We have a lot of fishing and boating and lakes. That's fun. Myers Spray Pumps. Look at that illustration. 1925. I might be able to scan that with that year. And just fun little booklets, the Mackinac Bridge, flexible grapple hay fork. What's this? Michigan Department of State Lansing wood stamp. Um, some diploma for something. Tractor parts catalog, 1960. So just things like that. What's this? Home scales. Really tiny print. Look at those illustrations. That'd be neat enough. Farm Journal. Um, another tractor. Star barns and how to build them. Oh, I love this one. Um, here are the ones of the barns. Look at Isn't that awesome? Gothic Roof Barn of Charles Weilman, Edgerton, Wisconsin. So, love those. And this is, what is this, a yearbook or no? Oh, this is the Carnation Company. You know, the Carnation, uh, what do they have? Um, evaporated milk and things like that. Okay, did I show these? Oh, look at this, a design for better living. And I, I went, you know, when everything was full price, and I was going to go back the second day when they were half off, but I I didn't. Uh, look at that stove, Coleman. Love this. So I was very excited about that. And then I... Uh, and these are just negatives, so I'm not sure what to do with these. You know. But. Okay. And then I went to a, another estate sale last week. And I, uh, so what else did I get besides this? I guess not, not anything. Okay. So I got, um, a few things. This isn't vintage, but it's, um you know, for a fairy journal, and it was just one postcard. Oops. I do have a couple more of these, but so I just grabbed that one for a fairy journal. This postcard was kind of cool. I don't oh, 1916. And this is like a furniture factory, mu or furniture museum <clears throat> here. So that postcard was kind of cool. Oh, I've never been there. I don't even know if it's still there. And then this is pretty. Postcard. And I think I have one more of these, maybe, possibly. So this is kind of cool. Needlebook. And then I got some photos. They did have a beautiful photo book, but it was 65. I don't know. Maybe I could have got it for, I think it was half off that day, but... I don't know. I didn't. But look how cute. I mean, they're not smiling, but yeah, I don't. I guess they didn't really smile a whole lot then. And look at this cute little girl. She's got kind of a smile. She's very sweet. Look at her beautiful hair. And then we have this family. So I've got getting a collection of photos. 
But um, I figured, I mean, I don't need a huge amount if I scan them, you know. I have a variety now. There's some more kids at a school. This is interesting, isn't it? Oops. Let's see. Oh, this lady's pretty. Look at her beautiful skin and hair. Oh. And I have one more, and then I have some um, doilies or things like that I got. Nice little family. And then I also got, let's see, <clears throat> excuse me, a pile of doilies. Because I have some, but a lot of them seem to be just the same, you know, a lot of the same. But look at that butterfly. And a butterfly there. I love it. Um, this, there's two pieces of this. I'm not sure what it's used for. See that little, those little kind of like holes or whatever, like something would be put through there. I don't know what that would be for. Feels newer, but <clears throat> I'm not sure. Here's some crocheted, it's kind of a thicker cotton. Piece of that might have come off, come off a pillowcase. And here's a little sweetly embroidered little napkin. Here's a tiny little one. Vintage. Look at that. How do people do that? Let's treasure these. And this is a thicker cotton. And this one, tatting, I believe. Could be wrong, but look at all the tiny little um, threads and such. This one's really pretty and delicate. It's got a little few holes, but that doesn't matter. And this one is doubled over. Looks like this was a collar. It's very sweet and pretty. And uh, a couple more, if you're interested. This one looks like a starfish to me in the middle. Here's a big one. Quite big. I love these uh, here. Look at them. I love the colors. I have four of these. I don't know if they would have been for coffee cups. And these need to be soaked. They're, uh, unless I keep the, the age to them. Those are basically, I think, the same. Then there's that design. They're just a little different. And here's a big, maybe a big collar piece. Yeah, there's a button. Oh my goodness, look at that with this button. Wow. I just took every, I bought every one they had. And this was the second day, so first day, they didn't buy it, so I'm glad I got the opportunity. This one. And there's a hole. That. Another little hole, but that's okay. This one, look how many designs. And then this must have been off a pillowcase. And just a couple more. That design, beautiful. And this, look at that shape. Very pretty. Don't you just love old dolly leaves and embroidered? I do have a collection of embroidered uh, pillowcases. I should show sometimes. Some of them I made into pillowcase dresses and uh, for little girls. 
um, that I still have. I need to get them out and show them or sell them or reuse them. Uh, here. Really pretty little hole there. And then one last one. This one. So lots of vintage laces. So I was very thrilled and excited. Now I kind of want to go to some more estate sales because actually that's more of what I look for, you know, rather than a garage sale. Although probably you could find vintage things at a garage sale. But anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you. And also I haven't been crafting because I've just been getting farm kits together. And today hopefully I can so make one today or start one and then see if anybody would like to buy the farm kits and uh, if anybody's interested in following along once you buy the kits or whatever. So I'm going to try that. Anyway, there's 15 minutes. Don't want to use up any more of your time, but thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.